All right, guys, welcome back to the Rocco Taco Mining Channel. And today, today this video, I saw others talk about it, and I ran across it. I wanted to read more about it. Uh, it seems like a lot of news outlets are just cutting and pasting the same stuff. So this is of interest to me because I own this card, six of them. Uh, Ethereum miners unlock 21% more hash rate on NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti LHR. And I think that's light hash rate. I call it low hash rate. It's light hash rate. So thanks to a BIOS update for EVGA's version of the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti LHR graphics card, Ethereum miners can now enjoy 21% more hash rate. 21% more hash rate. Man, that is something else. Times. That's 18 more. So if you're getting 90 now, and because with the latest T-Rex miner, you can run that uh, lock core clock setting, and that lowers your wattage used, and actually increase my hash up to 90. So if I can get 21% more, are you telling me I can get 18? more hash on top of that. So like, what is that, 108 hash on a 3080 Ti LHR? I don't know, that, that's, that's interesting to me, very interesting. Times six cards, yeah, that, that is, uh, that is in hold on, let's do that real quick. 108, that's another 108 extra yummy hashes. So anyway, <laughs> um, so LHR, or light hash rate, is an updated line of NVIDIA's RTX GPUs that comes with a pre-built limiter on the card's total mining hash rate. With these cards, Ethereum miners were only able to take advantage of around 50% of the GPU performance when mining. Yeah, therefore, no one really bought them. I think gamers bought them, and, but they're still really expensive. Even MSRP, they're like 1200 I think. Uh, scalping on Amazon and eBay. Oh my God, you're close to 2K. It's 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 ridiculous. Um, however, a while back, an update of the popular mining program NB Miner unlocked some of the hash rate, and miners could now use about 70% of the total GPU power. So I would add to that T Rex Miner because T Rex Miner is giving me more than NB Miner was giving me. Uh, I will say that. Oh, uh, let's see. There's some ads. All right, some. Uh, let's see. A couple months back, some miners were able to unlock 100% of the hash rate on these RTX LHR cards, but there was a catch here, and it was that the extra power could only be used for mining a coin other than Ethereum. Uh, for example, 70% hash rate went to ETH. That's right. They dual they dual mined, while the 30% went to another coin. So, yeah, right. You could do Ergo and ETH and maybe something else with ETH. Uh, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, let's see. A few days back, NVIDIA's card partner, EVGA, released a firmware update for the RTX 3080 Ti LHR that fixed an issue causing a limit on the GPU's power during high workloads. With the update, ETH miners can now enjoy around 80 mega hash, hash rate boost. Wait, what? With the update, ETH miners can now enjoy around 80 mega hashes, a hash rate boost of 20% over the previous 66. I'm already at high 80s. I'm at 90. So I'm really confused by what they say you can get. Is it 21% on the 90 you get? Or is it 21% on the 66? Which, who is getting 66? Oh, well. There hasn't been any such firmware update for cards by brands other than EVJ as of yet. However, owners of RTX 3080 Ti from other NVIDIA partners can still download this update and custom flash their BIOS with it. And then here comes the key sentence. But beware that flashing the BIOS from another GPU model can be quite dangerous and may even brick your card. You're going to have a nice $1,200 brick. I'm not going to do this. I'm not that much of a high roller. I don't have 3080 Ti's to be experimenting with. And I, like I said, with the T-Rex Miner, using the um, lock, core clock, absolute clock setting, I'm getting 90. Uh, if you're saying I'm just going to get 90 with the flash, I'm confused. What, what's the baseline here? They're saying, 
they're saying this, 66. So, interesting. Nonetheless, some users have found that non-EVGA cards can show even better results with this update. Our, oh, our boy Red Panda Mining was able to squeeze out around 91 mega hashes with his ino 3 d RTX 3080 Ti. So, having said that, I'm glad he did that. Good for him. He went and he played with one of his 3080 Ti's, risking bricking it, but he was able to squeeze out 91. For the amount of effort and the risk, and I'm at 89.90 right now with T-Rex Miner, I'm not touching this. I'm happy where I'm at. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, because you try mucking with a BIOS on a, on a, like, a, non, a different card, a different uh, brand, and you fry it, you're going to be like, oh, what an idiot, just for one mega hash more. I'm staying where I'm at. Like I said, I'm running T-Rex Miner, and with the uh, lock core clock setting, lowered my wattage usage, and also increased my mega hash to uh, 8990. It's pretty impressive. So I'm happy I'm not touching a thing. Uh, if you guys have an extra 38 Ti you want to experiment, go ahead and do it. Knock yourself out. I'm not a high roller like that. If these cards are 100 bucks, yeah, you play around, experiment. But when you're talking 1,200 bucks on SRP, ooh, neg negative. Uh, let's see. At the time of writing, the Ethereum's price floats around 3.9K. Let's check where it's at. Let's check where it's at. Kryptonauts, dun, 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 3,800 as of 14 December 2021. Okay, I lost my spot. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, crypto has accumulated 3% in losses. Yeah, tell me about it. I took my payout from Ethermine, and now I'm down 3 to 5%. Awesome, awesome. But I didn't sell, so I didn't really incur a loss yet. And tax-wise, I don't have to worry about it too much because I got it, but then it went down. So I think that's how it works. All right, here's a chart that shows, here's a chart that shows a trend in the price of the coin over the last five days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there's some about Ethereum. So there you go. I mean, there's a BIOS update by EVGA. There's no links to it on this page. Let's see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, an update. Where does that go? That goes to... I'm afraid to click on it. I'm afraid... Oh, okay. That's just the article where the yeah, Ethereum miners can now use 70% of NVIDIA's RTX 30 GPU hash rate thanks to this NV miner update. Yeah. Well, you figure this stuff is all software, and they get in there and they can work around these uh, these features in the code. I mean, I guess, right? So there you go. If you have a 38 Ti, if you want to know, like I said, look at T Rex Miner, the uh, lock, the dash dash lock dash core clock C clock setting on a 3080 Ti. I have a video on that out there. Look at that. I don't remember the actual setting off the top of my head. And then I set the mem clock as well, and that is it. Because then that takes care of the power level. And then, like I said, I am getting, I'm gonna look right now on my screen while you're, while you're on the phone, while you're on the, yep, 89, 89, 89.6. Let's see, 89.8. There were a few 90s in here earlier. But anyway, 89s. And I just didn't have to do any flashing. I'm happy with that. All right, that's all I got. Saw this. Saw other people talking. Saw other people talking about this uh, 3080 Ti issue. Uh, they're they're pretty expensive cards yet, so I don't know. We'll see. It's up to you. Do your own research. Do your own experimenting. Do not listen to others. Just use it as a point of reference to go. Hey, maybe that's worth something trying. Or like for me, it's not. The juice is not worth the squeeze. I'm not going to risk bricking. A 3080 Ti for maybe getting one more, one more, uh, like, uh, hash out of there, one more mega hash out of there, right? All right, that's all I got. Thought it'd be an interesting article. Glad others are pushing it out there. I love, because there's so much out there to read. You just can't keep up on all of it. And what I've been trying to do is keep up on the latest minor news as they come out with the release notes. Uh, this is even good, too. I th thought this was pretty useful. All right, I'm out. I'm going to go do something on that. Everyone just go, go do something great. I'll talk to you later. Boom.